Now we decided there is an indication, there is a proper indication, there is no contraindication. And then based on the indication, we picked the right NG tube. I'll tell, hey, that we need to feed this patient. Let's get a small French feeding tube. That's what we tell the nurses. Sometimes there's some brand name called KU Feed. That means by default, small feeding tube, small, soft, not rigid tube. Uh, there is a uh, dop off. We mentioned that also there's small feeding tubes. But tell them, hey, can we place in case the nurse place it? Um, because in the hospital, either nurses place it or provide residents or phys uh, attending physicians place it as well also in some cases it's placed by GI when it's difficult to place it and you need it for sure you can consult gastroenterology or even easier intervention radiology here they use the scope endoscopy and here they use fluoroscopy to guide them to place these tubes and those all in cases very difficult to place and there was no clear contraindications uh, for this placement um usually um so that's what you tell let's say the nurse will tell or you're gonna place to yourself hey can i have a small french maybe 12 french or smaller soft tube of course if you know these brand names that would be easier because sometimes they may get confused because it's very practical people just use the brand name remember so for nutrition now if you're using for suction or lavage use more regular more rigid ng tube um don't use the small soft tubes now if the patient is sedated as i said we said og tube and then you don't have to explain to the patient he's sedated if he's alert please use an ng as we said and explain to the patient the procedure and i'm not going to go about the details of the procedure there's plenty of youtube videos and it's going to be very hard for me to explain here but the patient needs to be aware of the that he will be uncomfortable for a bit and you need to give him some uh, local uh, anesthesia and um, and then lubricate the tube and tell him to swallow while in when we need to um, tell him to swallow uh, as soon as the we feel the tube is at his throat tell him to swallow so that we with the he get it into the esophagus not to and the airways if the tube start coiling or if there is resistance pushing the tube or the patient start coughing or choking please abandon and pull the tube out okay so that's very important so we put the tube again i'm just giving you a general idea about the placement and then as soon as we feel it's in the throat tell him to swallow or you can give him water with a straw please drink water and drink now uh, water now so you can push that if you find you keep pushing the tube and calling and there is or there is resistance or coughing or choking immediately abandon that if you start seeing blood also coming out this probably we cause some trauma to the um even nasal mucosa or esophageal mucosa or again i usually pull the tube out i don't want to cause any major gi bleed once it's in we feel it's in right they usually do the bubble test and this is not kind of completely accurate but it's a good initial test where you in one of the ports you push air and then you hear bubble in the epigastrium by listening with your stethoscope but the rule of thumb never use i'm gonna put it in uppercase letters ng or og tube without chest x-ray confirmation or upper abdominal 
x-ray confirmation but mainly mainly we use chest x-ray you have to confirm it with chest x-ray that it is below the diaphragm i'll explain this in the next video and then at that point you can say hey, the nurse will call you can i use it yes go ahead and use it or no please advance it by this much Re uh, pull it back by this much retract it by this much or remove it please it's not in the right place so if after placements after placement and confirmation and using let's say a day or two we start seeing blood coming and mainly this is with suctioning with suction please call gi now the whether we remove it or not technically you should remove it but i usually call gi and ask them hey am i supposed to remove it or not that's in case bleeding after placement and after using this ng tube or og tube uh, and remember uh, nurses to take care of this tube they need to flush it every few hours and sometimes to suction things back um so these are general idea about the ng tube placement and troubleshooting during placement and after placement